it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. I'm starting this style on freshly washed hair as I always do and I always use a cotton t-shirt as opposed to a microfiber towel or a towel because I find that those can cause unnecessary frizz and I don't need any of that in my life. I just love the way that my hair feels and looks and it's so soft, so moisturized and just overall very healthy and it is getting longer. So thank you for those of you that have noticed my goal is to have waist length hair. So now I'm just going to separate my hair into quadrants this just helps me to manage my hair a lot better especially when I do more advanced styles I really need my hair to be nice and sectioned off I do the LOS method I will be doing a video on that so stay tuned for that I just really want my hair to be healthy overall so everything that I do and I always tell you every step of the way just make sure that you are really taking care of your hair you're giving your hair the TLC that it needs keeping that moisture in your hair because as naturals our hair is is more prone to getting dry so you just want to make sure that you do keep that moisture in your hair after I section my hair off in the quadrants I just twist it up this is just a habit of mine and then I'm going to add some moisture in my hair I'm going to mix this water and vegetable glycerin mixture in my hair vegetable glycerin is a known ingredient just to help retain that moisture in your hair and I'm always looking for products that help me retain length and retain that moisture in my hair and vegetable glycerin is definitely one most of the time I I just missed water alone in my hair but sometimes I will add aloe vera juice vegetable glycerin and also different oils like essential oils and carrier oils in my hair to help me retain that moisture secondly I'm going to apply this leave-in from Shea moisture and this is their virgin coconut oil line I absolutely love this leave-in conditioner it works really great in my hair coconut oil works really good in my hair also my children's hair so I like to use this line for all of us secondly I'm going to apply this jojoba oil to this subsection of hair and I love jojoba oil it's very lightweight but it also also helps me retain length and also scalp health it is very good for my scalp and it really helps to seal that moisture in my hair and that's definitely what I need especially my ends so don't be afraid to use a good amount of product that is really going to help in your natural hair journey or if you're not fully natural in your healthy hair journey you want your hair to be healthy more so than anything so make sure that you do give your ends the TLC your scalp the TLC and also down the length of your hair you just want all of your hair to be nice and healthy and I like to take my favorite rat tail comb and just make sure that my ends are nice and smooth this just really helps my ends to be frizz free also reduces breakage damage all of that good stuff and when I do my styles my ends are frizz free they're tame they look smooth and my styles last a lot longer this way After I've applied everything in my hair and make sure that it's worked in really well, I like to twist it. So I have about two twists per quadrant and this really helps to keep that moisture locked in. And I like to do this technique where I apply my leave-in and then my oil twist it and then work on the other sections of hair so by the time I come back to that section it is so moisturized and this is how I'm able to retain length and I'm always wet styling my hair for my styler I'm using the Camille Rose almond jai twisting butter and then right on top I'm using the mofa Zhang green color I'm going to do this twist out just like I would any other of my twist outs. I'm going to link down below in the description box some of my favorite twist out videos. So if you want to learn how to do a twist out, you can watch those. But this video is more so for the color and just seeing how I put the color in my hair and how I'm twisting it up. I'm going to start by applying a good amount of the Almond Jai Twisting Butter to a medium sized section of hair. I find that when I do have medium sized sections for my twist, my twist outs come out so good. It just looks really nice. And then I'm going to apply a good amount of the green color to my hair, about two quarter sizes to this section. I'm working it in really well. I'm just making sure that the green color is smooth in. I did apply a little bit more towards my ends because I wanted this green to be really prominent, stand out, and to look 
look really good. It was my first time doing this, so I'm just going along with what I thought would be nice, and it did turn out really good. So I also smoothed the green in my hair and also the almond jai twisting butter with my favorite rat tail comb. This just really makes sure that my hair is nice and smooth all the way down. You really want to make sure that your hair stays nice and smooth. The products are works in your hair, that your hair is really accepting of these products because then your styles will come out so much better and last a lot longer. And of course, as I'm twisting the ends of my hair, I'm just gonna twirl the ends around my finger a few times just to make sure that they stay nice and secure and don't unravel while I'm letting them dry. But if your hair does not stay secure by doing this, then I would highly recommend to use a small perm rod or a flexi rod just to ensure that the twist does not unravel while it is drying because you twisted your hair nice and snug, nice and tight. The last thing that you want is for your hair to unravel and the style not to come out as defined as you may have wanted. I'm going to continue to do this process to the rest of my hair where as I part a subsection I'm going to apply a good amount of the almond jai twisting butter about two quarter sizes and then I'm going to part my hair to have a separate section for the individual twist. I'm going to apply a good amount of the green color to each subsection of hair just to make sure that my hair does take to the color and then I'm going to twist my hair nice and snug, twirl the ends to make sure that it stays nice and secure. As I've already mentioned I have several twist out videos I will link them down below in the description box so you can watch it but for now you can just watch how I'm applying the color to my hair And my twists, they felt really nice and dense, so I knew that my twist that was going to come out really good. And as I always say, you want to make sure that you smooth these products in your hair, especially the styler. You want to make sure that your hair is accepting of the styler in that way that when you do your styles, your hairstyles will come out so good and it will also last. So I was all finished twisting my hair. I just took a little bit more of the green color and smoothed it on my twist just to make sure that the green color did deposit into my hair really good. And then I wrapped my hair up with my bonnet from Hairfinity and I chose this one because it's black and if there is staining it's not really going to show as opposed to my other bonnets that are pink and purple and I would be able to see the green color if it did stain. And it was time for bed. The next morning, my hair wasn't completely dry. It was about 85% dry, but we all know in order for us to have that bomb, successful twist out, our hair needs to be 100% dry. So, because it wasn't, I just let my hair air dry. I don't sit under the hooded dryer. I don't use a blow dryer. I just love to air dry my hair. 
and this is how my hair looked the next day. Like I said, I like to air dry my hair so if it is not completely dry, all I'll do is clip it up like this and let my hair dry while I work in the house because that's what I do. I work in the house, I'm with my children all the time, so I don't really have anywhere to go on a given day. But today, I had some errands to run, so I just removed the clips and then I just pinned my hair up with this bobby pin and wore my hair out like this and I got so many compliments. Now the following day my hair was 100% dry so it was safe to unravel the twist and I was so happy because I had been anticipating this moment for so long. I left the bobby pin in my hair but that was totally fine it didn't ruin anything. So like with any other twist style and any other style I like to unravel the twist and then I just work my way from the back to the front. That's how I like to work with doing my hair. Whether I'm styling my hair or I'm taking out perm rods, flexi rods, anything that I'm doing I like to work back to front and this is the best way for me. So unraveling the twist is pretty simple. I just gently tug at my twist just to help loosen it up and then I just twirl the twist in the opposite way that I twisted it and then I just gently separate it. I don't want to pull at my hair. I don't want to cause any unnecessary friction, tension or just pulling my hair at all. Then I'm going to go back and then just separate the curls individually and this is going to give me more volume and I love volume. I love definition. I just really love when my hair is just nice and flowy and it just looks so good. So this is what I do just to help me create more volume and just have my hair look a lot fuller. And for a little bit more volume, I'm going to take this pick and then pick at my roots and also throughout my hair. I just really want to make sure that I have a nice shape and I have good volume. And here's the finished look. I really enjoyed playing in color. It was just really fun to do this. I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!